Hi, my name is Faisal and I'm a Java Enterprise Developer. Today I'll be sharing with you a specific JBoss transaction problem I'm having. It all started when I was given a project to create an enterprise application which took business transactions from a website and stored them in two databases for further processing. We created this application on the JBoss application server version 5.1 which uh, I downloaded from the JBoss.org website. Now, the application updates two separate databases with new business transactions while keeping the data in sync. Now, this is one of the key requirements. So let's take a look at the application architecture. Each business order has to be persisted in two databases as a single transaction. Both the databases have identical tables and they are in two separate physical machines. We chose to create a two-phase commit transaction which would ensure the order would be updated in both databases. And I make sure that both the databases support this protocol. Remember folks, the data needs to be in sync. Now, since I was dealing with transactions, I didn't want to get into the specifics of it. Well, in my application, I used Enterprise Java Beans with Container Managed Transactions. This basically means that the application server will manage my transactions for me. Now, all the servers are in a separate virtual VMware images for my development. Seems straightforward, right? I even created this client application that checks both the databases for the identical amount of records. This is what happens after I send in one order. After I developed this application, I started the testing phase. One day, while I was load testing this application, I accidentally pulled a network wire from one of the database servers while the testing was still going on. Now when I realized this, I quickly connected the wire back on. After the test run, I knew I would have some missing business transactions due to the network outage. But the data in the database should still be in sync. Well guess what? This network accident has led to corrupt data. One database has one less order than the other. This is very surprising. The application was designed to be transactional and the application server is supposed to manage all the transactions so that the data is in sync. Now, I tested this situation over and over again. Unbelievably, this problem happens consistently and I'm left with a data corruption problem. When I started troubleshooting this problem, I found two issues. First, when you look at the JBoss console, we see there are several errors. But the one to point out here is the XA resource message. It basically tells us that the JBoss server knows there's a problem with a transaction but cannot recover it. This issue continues to show up on the console even when you restart the JBoss server. When I did some searching on the internet, the most popular answer was to delete the transaction logs of the JBoss server. But what if this is some critical transaction? So I'm skeptical of doing that. Now, the second part of the problem is when new business transactions are submitted, some fail. This is most likely because the application server's transaction manager has left the database in a corrupted state and some of the resources are locked, such as the rows of some tables. Now you need a knowledgeable database administrator to go in and fix this nasty problem to make sure that both the data of the uh, databases are in sync. Now at first I thought it was my own code. Then I got my code reviewed and thoroughly tested from my team. I even tried transaction recovery. I even looked at the database. At the end, it looks like it's an issue with the application server and its transaction manager. I searched everywhere on the internet for this problem. I did not find any solutions or workarounds. At this point, I cannot submit this project to my stakeholders knowing that JBoss corrupts data. Now, has anyone seen this problem? For more information on my experience, please check out the link. 